doesn't change. Uh, the kind of things that are instilled in you as a, as a child uh, don't change. Family principles, family values for us Italian is number one. Uh, loyalty and uh, pride, um, I believe a, a sense of passion and compassion. I think I'm pretty emotional and I think I've carried that from my, uh, from my heritage as well. The Italians are, or I think at least we are, we are very affectionate. We like to hug all the time. We like to kiss all the time. The ability we have to innovate and reinvent ourselves uh, is, an, is a very important fact. I'm an American now, but all I say still, I'm an American by passport. My heart, still Italian. Well, I, I define myself as an American who is of, a, uh, of Italian descent. Um, and I think uh, that my children would do the same. If you were to ask them, what are you? They'll say, well, we're, we're, we're Americans. Florida is, of course, a state that everyone is from somewhere else. And the immigrant experience of, of Italians uh, trying to, to fit in, to blend in with a very diverse culture that is South Florida is a very important component uh, for Italian Americans and for me here. When I saw the immigrant experience here, uh, the, the, the Hispanic community, the way they are with families, the, the whole um, sort of mindset of hard work and the work ethics that's here, it reminded me so much of my own family and own background that we felt very comfortable here. I think Miami is probably the most cosmopolitan city in the world. We have here any nationality from South America, any country from South America, any from Europe, any from around the world, because it's such a destination. Who doesn't fall in love with Miami? The beaches, the palm, the sun. I'm a Floridian. I'm a Miami, 100%. I think we've moved from the, assimil the importance of assimilating to the importance of uh, reconnecting with our past. My son was able to go to Italy through Florida State Study Abroad Program. Uh, as most Italian families, they want to make sure the kid is okay. So we, we got on a plane and we all went to Italy to visit him. I'm sure he loved that when we arrived in Florence. Uh, uh, but it then became very interesting to us to know a little bit more about our heritage and our, and our tradition. So much so that uh, uh, several years ago, I, uh, I uh, applied and, uh, for my Italian citizenship. And now not only is my son, but my two daughters, my granddaughter, and my wife, we all hold uh, dual uh, citizenship, which we're very proud of. Those who are in their teens or 20s and 30s to learn Italian, to identify with their heritage, and they've become a, a sponge to absorb that. You know, Italian-American organizations at universities around the country, including here in South Florida, are very vibrant. And uh, so again, I think we've moved from the need to assimilate to the desire to reconnect and reestablish our, the bridges between our mother country. Because when you learn the language, you learn the bond of the people, you learn the habit. And, and the language, that's what keeps you inside your sentiments, that you belong to that. But if I wouldn't teach them the language, there is no bridging on the sentiments. So, and that's, and that's what keeps them alive. They will remember what it is and they will feel free, of, they will like to go back to Italy. One day I won't, I won't be no longer in their life, but they speak the language. That's the thread, as weak as it could be, but it will be strong as a rope that they keep them attached to their father's uh, uh, ethnicity, which is Italian.